Unlike old GPS approaches which gave you only lateral guidance, the new approaches give you both a vertical as well as lateral guidance. According to the feedback we have received from the pilot, the EGNOS guidance is very smooth and comparable to ILS. The avionics required to perform the applications provided by EGNOS are low-cost avionics. You are allowing someone to land with vertical capability that they did not have in the past, which always increases safety. The skies above Europe are becoming increasingly congested, as are Europe's major airports. This growth in air traffic means smaller airports also need to be safely accessible at all times, which cannot be achieved by relying solely on non-precision approaches. However, precision approaches require a substantial investment in ground-based navigation aids, but not anymore. EGNOS, the European Geostationary Navigation Overlay Service, offers enhanced vertical precision and integrity, improving safety, accessibility and efficiency for operators, pilots and airports across Europe. EGNOS is a satellite-based augmentation system compatible with other GPS augmentation systems around the globe, such as the American WAS system. WAS has been in operation since 2003 and currently has over 3,000 published airport procedures. EGNOS is Europe's first venture into the field of satellite navigation and will be complemented by Galileo, Europe's global satellite navigation system. EGNOS improves positioning measurements using three satellites and a network of more than 40 reference stations in 20 countries, providing much greater accuracy than achieved through GPS alone. Here's how it works. Stations on the ground pick up signals from GPS satellites, which are then centrally processed. The accuracy of the original signals is determined and factors such as ionospheric disturbances are taken into account. These data are incorporated into EGNOS signals and sent to its three geostationary satellites. The satellites then relay the signals back to users. The result is substantially improved horizontal and vertical positioning accuracy and data integrity. But how can EGNOS make a difference? EGNOS provides vertical guidance which increases the situational awareness of the pilots and improves safety. EGNOS enhances safety by increasing the situational awareness of the pilot because he has vertical and lateral guidance and also by having and providing this vertical guidance reduces the controlled flight into terrain. One of the big advantages of the LPV is not just the lower minima, but the aircraft at the missed approach point is lined up with the runway in a position where it could land, whereas off the NDB approach uh, it could be offset by a half a mile or more. EGNOS can also act as a backup system for airports that already offer precision approaches and can reduce pilot workload. EGNOS provides also an added value at ILS equipped runways as a backup system. For instance, in case the glide path is out of service. Another advantage is that you can do all your navigating in GPS mode. Um, you don't need to be in VOR or localizer mode and then switch to GPS mode for en route and then back to VOR mode for the approach. Um, you can do the entire flight in GPS mode and that leads to lower pilot workload um, at an otherwise busy time during approach. EGNOS provides a cost-effective alternative to ILS CAT-1, offering a similar performance without the need for costly ground-based infrastructure and maintenance. EGNOS is perfectly suited for small and medium aerodromes because we can perform approaches close to the CAT-1 ILS of the big air aerodromes without the costly ground infrastructure. What we're looking at here is the um, ILS approach to Frederick, Maryland. Um, the minimum on the ILS is 684 feet, and if I switch over to the WAS approach to the same runway, you'll see that the minimum there is 690 feet, only six feet higher um, than the ILS, practically identical for operational purposes. With EGNOS, lower decision heights can also considerably reduce costly delays, diversions and cancellations. This can even allow ground-based nav aids to be phased out possibly reducing landing fees. 
There are no maintenance costs for the LPV procedure. You do not have to continuously do flight checks for an LPV procedure to keep the service maintained. All that is needed is an onboard EGNOS certified receiver, an adapted procedure for the runway end, and an adapted flight management system. EGNOS will enable us to cross the inversion layer, pick up the patients, and bring them to the hospital. Today we cannot fly through the high fog layer and have to rendezvous with an ambulance above the fog. This is time consuming and does not benefit the patients. EGNOS will enable us to perform precision approaches directly to the hospital, thereby increasing efficiency and cutting costs. Most importantly, it is in the best interest of the patients. For larger airports, EGNOS can also facilitate safe and efficient handling of ground equipment. One of the main benefits enabled by EGNOS is the reduction in the approach minimum. This reduction in the decision height can be translated into less disruptions, being delays or diversions to the alternative airport. The most important application we see for EGNOS are helicopter emergency medical flights to get the patient to where he needs to go. Today, we still have to abort many missions because meteorological conditions do not allow us to reach our destination. The increased accuracy and integrity provided by EGNOS decreases the decision height depending on local geography, initially to 250 feet and over time to as low as 200 feet. We can fly the watts down to 282 feet above ground level whereas the uh, VOR to runway 14 and the NDB approaches both carry with them minimum altitudes of I think 600 and 800 feet respectively. With an EGNOS procedure, even small and medium-sized airports and heliports remain accessible in poor weather conditions and EGNOS may open up approach paths to runway ends previously inaccessible due to local obstacles. The WASP provides uh, access to airports that have an ILS on one runway end, but with a WASP signal, you can achieve precision approach on the opposite end. Because EGNOS-based approaches will be available in a wider variety of conditions, this will particularly help emergency services such as uh, helicopter emergency medical evacuations and mountain rescue procedures to keep operating even when uh, visibility conditions are poor. EGNOS also provides environmental benefits. EGNOS is really an enabler for advanced and procedures such as car procedures that can mitigate the noise around the populated areas surrounding the airports. In many cases, EGNOS reduces the impact of aviation on the environment, along with reducing wasteful delays and diversions, the possibility of curved approaches and continuous descent paths reduces both noise and emissions. You no longer have to do step-down approaches where you descend and level off and descend and level off. You can do smooth, continuous glide path approaches, almost identical to the way you would fly in ILS. For helicopters, EGNOS allows approach procedures to be developed from any direction, thereby avoiding densely populated areas. One of the benefits of point-in-space approaches is that helicopters will be able to approach an airport from any direction and therefore will be able to keep away from houses as much as possible. EGNOS is the perfect solution for four sectors in aviation. Regional airlines, helicopters, corporate aviation and general aviation because we can perform advanced operations with low-cost avionics. There's no instrument landing system here in Alderney and until recently, the only instrument approach, as opposed to just being able to make a visual approach, was an NDB approach. Unlike old GPS approaches, which gave you only lateral guidance, the new approaches give you both a vertical as well as lateral guidance. Hence, what the pilot has to fly is an ILS lookalike, as opposed to the NDB. If two airports side by side, and we had a WAS approach, and our neighbor did not, there's no question that it would increase the traffic here. The EGNOS signal is free and here to stay. EGNOS was certified for civil aviation in 2011 and EGNOS procedures have been published or are under development at hundreds of airports across Europe. EGNOS enabled equipment is widely available with over 40,000 aviation receivers already in use. 
Egnos can provide accessibility, safety and cost savings in a single proven solution by delivering high precision with a low investment.